Hey guys, welcome to Boxing Squared for boxing news and views from around the internet. The WBC interim champion Dillian White has announced that he split with longtime trainer Mark Tibbs. And this has come as a little bit of a bolt from the blue six weeks out from his next fight with Alexander Povetkin. So the timing maybe not great but i guess maybe this has been coming for a while so we'll get to white statement and then a few thoughts because this has been pitched by sky sports as an amicable split although that word is not used in dillian white's statement and with these sorts of uh, parting of the ways between trainer and fighter it's not always amicable and often it's about money but we'll get to a few thoughts on the situation especially regarding is this a plus for alexander povetkin but see here on screen starting with dillian white's statement from social media he announced it on twitter his uh, and also instagram where this post is from Dillian White says, just to let everyone know, Mark Tibbs and I are no longer working together as boxer and trainer. I'm training in Portugal. Mark has a young family and his own new gym in the UK. As it stands, it just hasn't worked out in the way we both hoped it would. Mark came into my team four years ago and has helped me turn into the world-class fighter I am today. Mark is a great trainer and I will always be grateful to him and his dad for all they have done. Dillian White's statement on his split with Mark Tibbs. So these guys have been working together, as White said, for four years. And I did have a look around to sort of see, you know, was there anything from Mark Tibbs out on social media? Hadn't seen anything at the time of making this video. Perhaps he will come out. But then again, often trainers, because they have to work with other fighters, they don't want to um, say too much in public when they do split with a fighter, unless it gets really, really messy. But on the face of it, Dillian White wants to sort of keep this uh, relatively uh, quick and easy and clean in terms of the split and what he's saying publicly he didn't denigrate um, Mark Tibbs at all said he was a great trainer and actually Dillian White his rise in the heavyweight division his ascendancy in the division has coincided with his involvement with Mark Tibbs you could probably make a case that he would have gone you know some way without Tibbs regardless but obviously Tibbs with the game plans and the tutelage over the years and Dillian White has been steadily improving I think he owes um, Mark Tibbs this is Dillian White a lot of thanks for the work that Tibbs has put into White's career in the past four years. Obviously, a lot of blood, sweat and tears from White himself, but he has been guided by Tibbs and obviously good game plans. And they've um, had a very fruitful relationship, bearing in mind uh, Dillian White has rattled off a number of good victories since his only professional loss against Anthony Joshua, which was at the end of 2015. The likes of uh, Joseph Parker, Oscar Rivas, Derek Chisora times two. Uh, there is a couple of other wins there, maybe not as big as those names, but good wins nonetheless. And um, Mark Tibbs and um, Dillian White have had a good working relationship together. They clearly had a good bond working well together. That was evidenced by, you know, the, their rapport together, uh, press conferences and other sort of instances where we saw them in public working well together. And obviously for four years, something was working right. But why now? What's happened? We know that Dillian White has been out in Portugal for a number of months now. So before the UK lockdown, Dillian White was already out in Portugal having a sort of a camp of sorts. I mean, remembering his fight with Alexander Povetkin was going to be earlier in the year. So he'd gone out to Portugal. He Even before he was going to go into a training camp, he had sort of started trying to sort of get in shape, drop down a little bit of weight. So his plans were to, at that point, be training with Tibbs. But something has happened in more recent times, whether it's related to the pandemic that Tibbs, as White pointed out, who has a gym and a young family, didn't want to travel. But you also have to ask the question, maybe Dillian White has had other people in his ear in recent months. Maybe he's decided that it was time to end the relationship. And sometimes these things can be straight down to uh, reasons such as money. Maybe Dillian White on the way up 
going to earn another decent payday here, didn't want to pay tips. We just don't know. But he has been working with, in Portugal, Xavier Miller. And you can see here on screen, this is a shot from Miller's Instagram page, working with White in Portugal. He's been there for some time. Actually, Dillian White's had a pretty good setup in Portugal, remembering he was training out there for some considerable time. He's still out there. So he's been riding out the sort of pandemic um, pretty much in a full camp type environment. Maybe it's not been sort of, um, you know, full steam ahead the whole time because he'd burn out if he did sort of train, you know, go hell for leather for months and months and months on end. But clearly, whatever setup he's had in Portugal, the relationships that he's been forging out there, he obviously wants to continue that. And I would hazard a guess that because um, Xavier Miller has been there with him, as have, you know, he's had his cut man out there as well, which also doubles as his hand wrapper and masseuse. They've had um, a number of people out there, fighters too, who've been giving him work. So it's been a pretty sort of one-stop shop setup. And maybe he just feels it's the time is right to split with Tibbs. And maybe Xavier Miller probably gets a smaller cut if he does um, jump on board here to be in the corner for White. I don't know. I mean, obviously something has happened. Happened. Sky Sports and other media have used the term amicable to describe the split, but I mean, who knows? I mean, announcing it just six weeks out from fight night, obviously, if he wasn't going to be working with Tibbs anymore and Tibbs couldn't be in training camp, you had to announce it at some point. But the timing, it's not exactly great. And you can sort of look at this and go, well, has this been coming for a number of weeks? You know, have they just decided, one, maybe because Tibbs couldn't get there, or two, because um, the, the relationship had run its course, or maybe there is some sort of something that has been festering. You have to ask these questions. But just six weeks out from a fight with Alexander Povetkin, the timing is not fantastic. I mean, if they split after a fight, you can sort of say, well, he can get a full camp in, you know, build bonds with another trainer, etc. But perhaps that's what he's been doing in Portugal. If, in fact, he is going to be working with Xavier Miller and having Miller in his corner for fight night, August the 22nd. Fight camp, which is in uh, Eddie Hearn's back garden, as it were. That's the fourth card of uh, four for the matchroom fight camp. It is going to be a pay-per-view event. The headline there, Dillian White versus Alexander Povetkin. But if you were the Povetkin camp and you were looking at this, wouldn't you be thinking, actually, I think this is a pretty good thing for me because obviously a bit of disruption we don't know how disruptive this has been for Dillian White. I mean, who's to say that it didn't actually part ways months ago, but it's only being announced now that the decision was made, OK, we're going to go our separate ways. So maybe Dillian White has had, you know, all this time and knowledge and, you know, with his camp and what he's been doing, building and forging relationships with a, a new head trainer for some considerable time. It's just the timing now. But if I was Pavek and I would be thinking, look, Mark Tibbs had him on some good game plans. They fought well together as a, a duo trainer and fighter and having a new combination now. White is putting the WBC mandatory on the line. It's, yeah, I mean, you can certainly say it's not great timing, but if you're going to have a new trainer, I mean, sometimes, you know, a change of scenery can be as good as a holiday. Maybe something like this, we're going to see a few new angles and dimensions from Dillian White. Maybe White felt that he'd just gone a bit stale under Tibbs and it was time for that change. All these sort of things we're going to speculate on. I mean, money, I think, is one of the things in boxing that generally is sort of somewhere near the top and is generally one of the main reasons involved. But I think if I was Povetkin, I'd be thinking, actually, I quite like hearing this news that maybe it might make a small difference. But who's to say it will? I mean, we'll see on fight night. And I guess just the other thing, just to quickly touch on, because if it was just a, a matter of sort of circumstances, White has sort of described in his tweet because of um, being in Portugal and um, having Mark Tibbs in the UK with his gym and his family, the pandemic, etc., is not going to last forever. And seemingly, you know, he would be able to train in the UK at some point. If this relationship was just a victim of a circumstance, wouldn't you say that and say he'll be back in my corner as the head trainer for the next fight? I think you would. So I think that it is something a bit more deeper. But what do you make of this? A successful relationship has gone up in smoke. Dillian White and Mark Tibbs are no longer training together. Drop a comment loud and often. Hit like, hit subscribe, follow me on Twitter. Boxing underscore squared. I'm out.